Hi, this is Dora from FlippingHousesAndPancakes.com where you can go find kosher recipes, kitchen design tips, information about homeschooling your kids, and so much more. Um, I thought I would talk to you today a little bit about zesting your citrus. Uh, a lot of recipes call for zest from your orange, your lime, your lemon, and I thought I'd talk with you a little bit about the tools that you can use to use that, to do that. I used to always just use my box shredder, and you can absolutely use this shredder, grater, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can absolutely use this to zest your lemons, your limes. You just take it, you run it up and down on, um, I prefer on the, on the larger hole. That's my favorite hole to use for the, for the zesting. Um, and you're going to use that, and then you're just going to tap it down onto a surface. It'll all drop in and then you have your zest that you needed. Um, if you don't have room for lots of tools or you don't want to have lots of tools, your box, your box grater is gonna work perfectly for that. If you do a lot of zesting, you might consider getting yourself a planer. Look at that. Okay, this is a zester. You can buy these off of, well, anywhere, pretty much. Um, and I, I got mine from Amazon. You can find them anywhere. Um, and you're going to run this back and forth over your lime or your lemon or your orange or whatever it is that you're zesting. And remember, when you're zesting, you don't want to get that light color in there because that color, that pith, is a little bit bitter. You really just want the outside of your fruit, like the very colorful part. That's where that burst of flavor is. You're just going to run this back and forth across it. And I don't even need to have the plate underneath because what you'll see is that it catches it in there. Do you see how it catches the zest? Catches the zest and then I can just turn it over and tap it into whatever I'm making. So into my cookies, into my cakes, into my pancakes. Um, got some good pancakes that have lime zest in them. Anyhow, so you can use this type of zester. If you're gonna use zest a lot, I would definitely recommend it. It's much easier to get just the very outside, much easier to work with and makes less of a mess. But, like I said, you absolutely can go ahead and use your regular grater and you're just going to gently rub up and down on that grater to get your zest. And don't forget, reach your hand in. It sounds gross. Reach your hand in, clean it out. There's more zest in there. It's always hiding. There's always some hiding on the inside. So clean it out and use it. Stuff's good. You want to use that zest in all of your cooking. Check out our other videos for fun information about kitchen design, cooking, house renovating, and so much more.